Welcome to the File Center Q&A video series. In this video, we will be answering a question from one of our users on the file cabinet management. More specifically, on how to remove a cabinet from your list of cabinets without deleting all of your data or your files that are stored inside of the cabinet. Now, when it comes to managing your, your cabinet, you're, you're simply going to click on the cabinets icon here on the Manage tab. So when we come over here, we click on the, man or the cabinets. This will actually open up a list of all of the different file cabinets that, that you've created, and it allows you to manage all of those cabinets. So not only can you manage the ones that you currently have created, you can add them. Uh, of course, you can come in and edit anything that you'd like here as well. You can remove, you can hide it. So if you don't want a file cabinet to actually be displayed in your list of cabinets, you can actually hide that as well. And if you're on a network and you want other people in your office or in your home to be able to um, see that particular file cabinet, you can share that here too and you can also move. Uh, so if you need to move the location of where the files are being stored, you can do that from here as well. Uh, you can also see that you can sort um, them and they'll put it in alphabetical order or you can come in here and uh, shift these uh, cabinets to whatever position that you would like uh, them to show up in your list of, of displayed cabinets. Now to answer our client's question on how to remove a cabinet without deleting the files, you're simply going to select the cabinet that you want to remove. So I want to go ahead and select this particular cabinet. You'll see all of the data that's there. there we've got some drawers that are listed out with the folders and all the different documents. And you'll also notice here that it does display the location of where those files are being stored. Um, and so that will at least allow you to see here in this particular instance that my documents here, or this particular cabinet, is being stored in my My Documents folder uh, in a File Center Cabinets folder. And I'll, I'll explain why I mentioned that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and click on Remove. And you'll notice that now a, a window will pop up and it will just um, ask me to confirm that I really want to remove the cabinet from the list. Now, it, notice that it does explain that the contents of this cabinet will not be deleted. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And now you'll see here that my file center cabinet has been removed. Now, I mentioned before where the location of my files were being stored. Now, you'll see here that it's under my, my PC, under my documents, uh, and then there's a cabinet or a folder that I keep all of my file cabinets in uh, that's called File Center Cabinets, and so we can see that here. Now, you'll see that the File Center Cabinet folder, or this was my my actual cabinet in, that we just removed is still located inside of this location and if I open it up here's all the subfolders and and everything else that was there and so I can see even the, the folder and I can see all the different documents that were being stored inside of that particular uh, location now this completes this que this question and the session of our uh, file center Q&A video series be sure to catch future videos answering your questions